Do you know how many units a company has to sell to reach the assumed net income? In this video, you will learn what is the target income and how many units does each company has to sell to reach the assumed net income. As you already know, CVP analysis allows you to calculate not only the break-even point, but also the target income. This time, the sales value should look like this. The graphic representation of the target income looks like this. Target income is the profit that the managers of the company expect to reach for a designated period. The word profit has a fairly broad meaning. So in this video, I will focus on operating income and net income. The value of the net income is lower than the operating income Let's start to calculate the target income understood as the operating income first. To do this, I will remind you of the formula we used earlier to calculate the break-even point. This time, we want our contribution margin to cover not only the fixed cost but also the value of the target income. Therefore, the formula must be changed. As in the case of the break-even point, we can express target income not only in units, but also in sales value. The break-even formula in sales value looked like this. The formula for target income also needs to be changed. Also in this case, we need to add the target income to the fixed cost. Since we already know how to calculate the target income, let's practice it by analyzing an example. Imagine a company that produces flower pots. The cost of production of one pot is $3. The price of one pot is $5. The fixed cost is $1,000 per month. How many pots does the company need to sell to reach an annual operating income of $5,000. At the beginning, please note that the fixed cost is given as a monthly value. And the question is about operating income per year. For this reason, we need to establish the annual value of the fixed cost. To do this, let's multiply our monthly fixed cost by the number of months in the year. Now we know the value of fixed cost per year. Let's put the data into the formula. As you can see, the company has to sell 8,500 pots to reach an annual operating income of $5,000. Let's calculate the target income value as a sales value now. We can do this in two ways. The first way is to use the target income in units and multiply by the price. As you can see, to attain our target income, we have to sell pots for 
$42,500. The second way is to substitute the data into the formula. This time we need to know the value of contribution margin ratio. Let's calculate it. As you can see, the result is exactly the same. Let's focus on target income understood as net income now. When calculating the break-even point, income taxes pay no role. This is because the income tax paid on zero income is always zero. However, when the company needs to know how many units to sell to earn a particular net income, a change to the existing formula is needed. The target income expressed as a net income is therefore less than target income understood as operating income. Let's look at the formula again. If we put a lower value in the numerator, the number of pots will change. A smaller value in the numerator would mean you could sell fewer pots to meet your target income. But kind of thinking is wrong because income tax and interest will not be covered. For this reason, when the target income is expressed as net income, we need to add back the income tax and interest to get the operating income. In the previous example, the operating income was $5,000 per year. We had no interest, therefore the operating income will be equal to the gross profit. Suppose the income tax is 19%. This is the value of income tax in Poland. The net income will therefore be $4,050. Let's try to calculate the value of the operating income from the net income now. The formula will look like this. Let's check if we will get $5,000 of operating income by putting the net income into the formula. Our calculations are correct, so let's add our formula to the target income formula. Now let's check the number of pots needed to attain a net income of $4,050. As you can see, we need to sell the same number of pots, that is 8,500, to attain an operating income of $5,000 and net income of $4,050. Let's also calculate the value of the target income expressed as a sales value. As you can see, the value of sales needed to reach the assumed target net income is the same as in the case of operating income, provided that the interest and tax are added. Time for some conclusions. First, CVP analysis allows you to calculate not only the break-even point, but also target income. Second, you can calculate target income understood as operating income, gross profit and net income. Third, regardless of whether you want to know the value of operating income, gross profit or net income, the value of the target income in units and in sales will be exactly the same as long as interest and tax are included. This is because you change the gross profit or net income value into the operating income value.
After today's video, you already know how many products you need to sell to become a millionaire. Just put one million dollars into the formula. That sounds promising, doesn't it?